same project. And that's why I chose Joomla. It's not because it's the best software, but it's, uh, for me, uh, it's very important for uh, a GBL software to have a strong community. So, the main lack of Joomla, that's what I said before, is for me content management. Uh, content management, uh, not, uh, not, not, not uh, the, the portal features, but the content management itself with the system uh, of section uh, categories, uh, no version, uh, no workflow, no ACL, and it becomes a hassle to, to build big websites uh, because you, you, you need to have, uh, to have the, the, the things uh, uh, more precise and uh, to, to, to say who is allowed to do what and where. CMS and especially for my clients, uh, where the nested categories, of course, the multi mapping, also, I will explain to you why. The aggregation, the, the tagging system, which is different than multi mapping, we had some, some discussion about that because uh, uh, for me it's, it's something very different. Uh, decent search engine. Uh, with the uh, Boolean uh, operators, front and back end, modular content, that means content, type, content types, uh, because uh, when you think about content in a broad sense, uh, an article is just a type of, of content. Uh, a file from a file manager, an image from a gallery is another type of content, <coughs> and anything. So uh, having everything in the same place is much more practical for the clients. Uh, the workflow, there is a, a small workflow in Joomla, but uh, I, I try to implement uh, some more states uh, to be able to know that your content is a draft, uh, is uh, waiting for approval, or many, many other options. At, at the moment, it's hard coded in Flexi content, but uh, Flexi workflow will, uh, uh, will be uh, a component uh, allowing to define your states, your content types, per category, and uh, who is allowed to change a state and so on. And uh, the last one is the version control. Because when you have multiple people uh, publishing a website uh, and someone does a mistake, uh, it's important that you can go back. And uh, it's also important uh, the, 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 the new the added version control uh, features that we implement in Flexi Content allows you to leave an old version on the website, continue, can continue working on a new one. Uh, I will talk more precisely about that later. <coughs> now concerning the intranet and extranet uh, problematic, of course, uh, you need a proper ACL system. This is the major feature of Joomla 1.6, uh, but uh, when you have a client and a project now, you need it now. <laughs> That's why I built that. Uh, I started using, using it uh, uh, one year ago with uh, Flexi Content uh, on quite uh, big projects. Uh, and it functions properly. Uh, Flexi Access is uh, a fork from a French hack uh, which was called GM Access, uh, but which was modifying about uh, 50 files in Joomla Core. And uh, I built Flexi Content for Flexi Access and not the contrary. That means if you, if you want to have a, proper ACL solution implement, implemented, uh, you need to have your own content component, otherwise you have to hack. So, the main feature is uh, the granular ACL system, uh, 
uh, front end and back end. Hier hierarchical inheritance, that means uh, the, the, the subcategories inherit uh, from the, the parent category and so on. And uh, it can, you can set the permissions on categories, article, and fields. So, of course, uh, when you build an intranet <coughs> user group with uh, attribution, uh, and this group can be nested, so the inheritance is between uh, categories, subcategories, and also uh, groups, uh, parent group, children groups, and so on. So, an SEL system, uh, to, to, to speak uh, with, with simple words, uh, is who is allowed to do what and where. That's all. So, now about uh, flexi content itself. So, um, what I like in, in Joomla, as I said before, is its community. And that's why I try to build uh, at flexi content. And uh, for me, uh, the most important point <coughs> was the freedom. Uh, I built about 70 websites with Joomla a ton of components and sometimes the people stop development on the component and you are stuck with a, with, with a, with a component uh, that will not evolve anymore so if there are holes, uh, if there are bugs uh, it, it's not maintained anymore and it's become really trouble for your client uh, you have to follow everything and when you have 70 websites it becomes quite impossible so I gave a com content backward compatibility. That means if you use flex content which reads uh, and writes in the content in category table from the Joomla core, if you stop using it, you still have your content. And you can use for example K2. No problem. But the contrary is not possible. The second point was to integrate or extend rather than redeploy. Uh, because the, 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 what, what is very rich is the extension directory. And there are many extension plugin modules and I had to find a solution to be able to use them uh, as they are. The maintenance, of course, uh, it's always easier to maintain one component uh, than 10. Uh, so, flexi content gives the ability to create your content components. Short training, that's what uh, Igor said before. Uh, what is very important for me is the end user, the people who is in front of the data entry form. So, when you use a complex component, it has complex data entry form, and some of the time you just use five percent of the features. Uh, so. I, I thought it was easier to have everything in the same place and it also allows me to, uh, to use my SEL system on any little component uh, or content type developed by on FlexiContent. <coughs> so, for the end user, Easy classification, uh, classification and retrieving. With the unlimited nested categories, uh, you can have file in the same structure in front end and in back end. Because with section categories, uh, you had sometimes a menu system with, uh, with, with five nested levels, and you had to explain your client, okay, but uh, no, don't think about that. In back end, it's not the same. And uh, this category is the subcategory of another category, and it was not so easy to understand. For us, uh, as an integrator, developer, it's not it's not a big deal. But for an, a, a client, uh, it's very complicated to explain. Uh, another thing, the multi-mapping for me was also very important. 
uh, because an article can be classified in multiple categories. Uh, like, for example, uh, in YouTube Arts, when you clone your product to... Uh, to, 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 to uh, I've, I've seen people using YouTube Arts uh, as a content management system just for the multimedia. <laughs> Something strange. <coughs> um, then the body and back end search. Uh, it's when you have a, a website with uh, 15,000 of articles or 100,000, uh, just to be able to search on the title was not enough <laughs> to find out your, your content. So uh, in Flexi Content, you can use uh, plus, minus, quotes, and search in full text inside your content and your field. Uh, easy to understand, a simple and intuitive user interface. Uh, yeah, it's my point of view, of course. <laughs> but uh, I try to be. Uh, I try to, to build that uh, as understandable as possible. Uh, a friend of mine designed some icons that was perfectly uh, that represent perfectly the feature, and uh, people seems to be happy with that. So that's the second point: the design of benefits. I'm not a designer, designer, designer myself. So uh, what, what I get when I, when I, when I build a website uh, is a Photoshop layout. Uh, most of the time for a big organization, it's, uh, you have a lot of uh, meeting to decide if the color will be red, if the button will be top left or bottom right. And I wanted to have something flexible enough to design everything I want uh, without uh, any constraint. So uh, there is a, a powerful templating system which allows to have uh, category templates uh, and content templates, uh, generic templates with field position, drag and drop field positioning, or uh, for a professional, call a field individu individually. Uh, one time or multiple time, uh, exactly where I want. So uh, it's uh, written with the MVC pattern, so all the view can be overridden. Even the CSS can be overridden because it's very practical and it's not resident in, in, in Joomla. Uh, so the so generic and unmeasured templates. Uh, and uh, the positioning of the field is also very easy. For people who understand HTML, you just have to understand HTML, then use the good, the, the uh, uh, PHP echo with the name of the field to display it where you want. So, for the integrator, uh, integrator is the, the web designer. Flexi content was not uh, is not the easiest system for uh, people uh, beginning uh, building websites with Joomla, but it was not my goal. Uh, it requires HTML, CSS skills uh, to build your own template, uh, and uh, you have to touch at least the HTML code to, to design it how, how how you want to have. So. Uh, of course, there are generic templates that I supply, which are not too bad, but not too good also. <laughs> uh, with this uh, field position, you can draw, drag and drop the fields, and that's, that's usable for, for, for the end user. But if you want to have more, you need to understand HTML and CSS. So, uh, but, but what is interesting is that it's compliant with most of the existing extension plugin modules, and uh, you don't have to develop your own slideshow. To, to you can use a, a template from Joomla, uh, Rocket Team, and it will function. It will function because there is a system plugin which redirects all the code to come content 
to complex components. Uh, and you can build your own components without writing a single line of PHP with the content types. You choose your field and you have your custom data <coughs> to form. Uh, that means a component. Uh, and so, when I developed that, I, I, focus, I focused on the end user and on the developer. Uh, Flexi content is very open. Each field is a, a standard Joomla plugin from the Flexi content field groups. There are uh, events. Uh, it's quite easy when you have some PHP skill to develop your own plugin and there are unlimited applications. Uh, there are about uh, 30 fields that have been already developed by third party developers uh, without any uh, help for me uh, or without any uh, developer documentation. So it's quite understandable. Uh, and I hope there will be uh, more and more. We will build uh, a resource center very shortly uh, to gather all this resource together. Uh, and there are very nice things that will uh, come out in terms of field. So, as I said before, so we, are, uh, we use the, the Joomla MVC coding uh, and the framework uh, because I cannot uh, do anything else. <laughs> because I'm, I'm not a PHP programmer, so I just know Joomla framework, thanks to the book. Uh, we try to, com to comply with the, the naming convention. For example, the fields. The fields, uh, they should have been called elements, because there are more than fields. It can, it can be mini application, a Google map or something like that. Uh, storing multiple values, but uh, G elements is something special, so I couldn't use elements, so I choose fields. Uh, understandable events, okay, and so on, so on, so on. Just. So, when flexi content, uh, you think about content in a broad sense. That's what I said before, you can design your own content components very quickly. For me, a CCK means content type. And uh, in, in Flex Content, uh, or in Zoom, or uh, some other uh, CCK components, there are content types. And fields, which are the elements of the content types. And if you have a look, uh, on just just on, on the words, field is something different than extra field. So now concerning the intranet, for me the the, 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 the key feature of flexi content that no other component uh, offers is the SEL system and the version approval. <coughs> and now I, I will show you some, some, some samples, uh, a little uh, very short uh, uh, sample with some groups and how, uh, how it functions and what you can do with it. Um, 
developed as a, as a super admin with it's a, it's a standard Joomla install with the default uh, content uh, that everybody knows. Uh, with Flexi content install and Flexi access install. If you have a look here on the dashboard and on the menus, then it's slightly different than the standard Joomla. Uh, but there is absolutely no hack. It's an admin uh, module that provides this menu uh, in, Flexi, in Flexi Access. Uh, and here you can access your Flexi Content Dashboard. As you can see, for uh, an end user, it can be a little complicated. All these icons, fields, types, it doesn't know where it is. Uh, you just sold in the website and he has, he has that. So, oh, it's a little strange. So in Flexi Access, for this demonstration, I created three groups. Public and registered are the standard uh, groups from Joomla. And I create these three groups that are nested together. The FAC auto uh, is uh, typically a, a, an auto. He has if we have a look to the category about Joomla, the fact auto is not allowed to do anything there. Okay? But if we have a look to the fact, he is allowed to submit new items and to edit his own items. That's all. Then there is a fact manager who is allowed to manage everything in the FAC uh, categories and subcategories, etc. Okay. Uh, if we have a look on the news section, it doesn't is not allowed to do anything there. And the site admin is allowed to do everything, basically. So, let's log in with the fact auto to see how this dashboard looks like. With a very secure password, one, two, three. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't have the same menu here. It has a very simple interface. And even in Flexi content, you just have access to the dashboard, which is much more simple for an end customer. And items and new items. That's all. If we have a look back to Flexi content as a super admin, it's something else. Now, for example, this is. Uh, the, 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 the item panel from, from, for the super admin. Now have a look <coughs> to the same for the auto. It just has his own fact. That's all. Now, to be able to compare, when you create a new item as a super admin, so you have a lot of things here. The state, versions, comments, version history, all the categories, a lot of parameters, uh, layouts, and so on. So it can be quite complicated to master for uh, someone who doesn't have uh, anything to do with computer. If we have a look to the fact auto data entry form, it's something else. It just has these categories, the categories where he is allowed to submit and edit, no other. He is allowed to, to do a version comment, but that's all. No parameter, nothing. Which is much more easy for him to process. So, for example, we create a new article. Here. We applied to have the data entry 
הראשון, לה 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 save and his content is saved as a draft. As you can see, he cannot publish. There is no button to publish anything. State draft and it's fixed. The only thing you can do is to check his article and send an approval request. So when you click on approval request, the state uh, goes to waiting for approval. And if we now log on with the FAC manager or the super admin or whatever, here you have a notification that an item was submitted for approval with its address and anything. Okay, so uh, anybody who is allowed to publish in these categories will receive a notification. This is not the perfect workflow system, but it's decent to work properly. It will, it will be enhanced a lot uh, with the flexi workflow components that <coughs> come out, and you will be able to define your own, your own state for example, like in Vietnamat, you have the, 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 the order states, pending, uh, delivered, and so on. You will be, uh, you, you will, uh, you will, uh, you will be able to do the same flexi content. Define your own states. Who is allowed to change the states? Uh, if the validation validation is individual or collective, uh, and so on. To enhance this collab collaborative web publishing. Uh, Now, we will have a look to the server group, the fact manager. because uh, it needs to receive the notification that a new uh, article was submitted for approval, for example. <coughs> but uh, it just can deal with items. It's not allowed to create categories, uh, but he can see all the items, as, as you can see, even not in his category, but these are not editable by, by him. Even if you, can, if, if you try to do this uh, directly into the URL, uh, you will be thrown up. So it just can edit and publish the article from his own section, from, from the section he is responsible to. For example, if I click on the publish uh, toggle here, it doesn't happen anything. But here, he can toggle state. But you can, you can finely tune that. For example, if you have a look on this data entry form, you see you can manage the permission okay, for all the group under his group. Of course, not for the super admin. Otherwise, it would not be very practical. Uh, but he is not allowed, for example, to restore an old version. Now we will give him the opportunity to do that. Let's go to Flexi Access and we will give him some more uh, some, some more uh, uh, permissions. So, use version, version, okay. And manage categories also. Say so back. Uh, this, this one, we refresh the page. And here the categories are now accessible. And the version control as well. That means you can load an old version 
and save it to restore it. When you load a new version, it's just uh, to, 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 it's just to, to display it. It doesn't mean you restore it automatically. It's just, uh, it's just sometimes to, to, to compare it with, with another. For example, I add that, apply, and I can compare the two versions. If I load the first one, it doesn't destroy my current one I'm working on. I can go back to the current one. Okay? But up to now, uh, I didn't show you what uh, I mean under version approval. Because by default, for uh, an easiest use by the, 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 the standard Joomla user, which, which are not uh, familiar with the system, in the global configuration of the component, it's by default disabled. So if we enable it in the configuration, auto approved version is set to yes. Now we set to no. Same. Let's say apply here. And now, as it is allowed to publish, uh, he will choose if he approves the version or not. What does it mean? For example, if I modify the, the latest current version is highlighted in, in yellow here. This means this is a version that will appear on the website. If I modify that, for example, and I click on apply, the current version is not the latest version. That means you can continue working on the document, leaving the old copy published. And for me, it's really something very interesting, even if you have your own website. Sometimes you, you, you write an article on your website and you add a photo, but you don't want to, to, to see it live immediately. You want to modify something, but you continue working on your version. And as soon as you set yes to approve version, sorry, the screen is uh, a little tight, so the yes button has uh, Switch here, click on apply, and now the current version is the latest one. Okay, so there is, also, uh, there is also the ability to leave a version comment so that other authors know what you have done. Okay. So, yes, <coughs> apply, and here you see what happened. Um, now, just, we just have a look now on the back end uh, parameters uh, of. It goes quick. We just have a look at what we can do with Flexi Access in terms of configuration options. Let's go back here. Back in. Um, we will add in some more rights. For example, manage tags, uh, display archive, add categories, and so that's all. Clean cache, clean, oh yeah, clean cache. Good, good idea. Where is it? Yeah. Clean cache and manage users. Okay. And now, if we go there, you know that you can clean cache, you can manage users, and so on. That means uh, you can you can 
uh, set precisely who is allowed to use which component uh, and uh, which part of the administration. All the user uh, belong. Shit. <laughs> it's a demo effect. All the users uh, belong to a Joomla user group. Uh, that means uh, Flexi Access uh, uh, doesn't make it, uh, doesn't able, uh, enable you to uh, give access to the backend to a, to a simple registered user uh, because it extends the Joomla as here as they are, uh, and uh, you cannot grant more, uh, more. Uh, permissions that Joomla does naturally. Now just have a look on the integration, which is which is the point for me. As you can see here, the access uh, looks like standard Joomla access. But if we have a look deeper, for example we edit a category click on manage permissions, then all the actions are available here. Um, all the editorial actions are automatically inherited from the parent category. But concerning the read permission, it's something else. Because, for example, uh, you have a category for uh, your uh, subscribers. All the subscribers will be able to read the items in this category. But you want one specific item in this category uh, to require a higher level of permission, you can do that. That means for the read access, you choose if you propagate them to children items or not. Let's say yes. And save. Just forgot to assign them to a group. Yeah. So now only fac autos are allowed to read the items in this section. Let's say save. And now you see this special level from Joomla has now a little key here. And this key allows you to have access directly to the authorization table, which is very practical to use. And now if we view the items from the fact, you will see they have the same key, because uh, we uh, propagate the read permissions. But if you want this item uh, just to be available by the fact manager, which is an IO group, you can do it also. And the latest level of permissions concerns the fields. You can set read permissions also to the fields. For example, one field uh, on, the, on, the, on your content type will appear just for a group of users. At the moment, uh, edits, submits are not available uh, because uh, because of performance issue. When I will solve that, well, I think I will implement that also. Okay. Um, now, I think you have an overview of what you can do with that, and I will show you something a little more focused on the internet. Uh, a friend of mine who are developing this nice component, G monitoring, I don't know if you if you know that. It's a company which allows you to, to master uh, all your extension on your website uh, with a, uh, XML uh, RPC uh, plugins. You have a master website and you know if your extension are up to date or not. It's very practical when you have multiple sites to manage. They developed a front-end interface for Flexi Content Flexi Access. Now I'm logged, for example, and I can choose the modules I will display, and in each module, where 
the data come from. That means you have a custom dashboard for your users. Uh, for example, the people responsible uh, for uh, the maintenance doesn't need to have the news uh, on the marketing. And it allows you to build totally, uh, totally a custom dashboard. So drag and drop, you can organize it, and so on. So it's, it's a sample of what you can do and how you can extend uh, flexi content uh, and flexi access uh, with some development skills. Uh, another, 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 uh, another example of, uh, impl uh, of implementation is from my, my, my partner uh, and co-developer, uh, Aka from Marvelic Engine. Uh, he's developing a, a component which is called COM Dashboard. And this COM Dashboard is around the same principle than, uh, than the one I showed you from Inetis. Uh, it allows to have also custom dashboard, uh, but it's able uh, to take the information of multiple components. For example, uh, here uh, it's interface with project form. So all the modules function through, 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 through a plugin system and will allow also to uh, build a custom dashboard for your user. Because in, in an intranet it's, it's something very, very, very important uh, to have the right information displayed to be able uh, to publish in the uh, right categories, do not access to the data from the other, uh, having an approval of the version uh, submitted without unpublishing the old one and with all these kind of tools you can build this kind of project with Julia which was very difficult before. I, 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 built, that, uh, I built that for the president uh, of the Togo uh, on his website on Joomla 1.0 with chronoforms. I made everything custom, it functioned, but was not so clean. So I wanted to make it more generic, and, uh, and now the, the one of the big websites in France, which is a social security, will be powered, uh, it was powered with by Is It Publish up to now, and the new version will be powered by Joomla, Flexi Content and Flexi Access. I'm finishing it right now. Uh, and uh, it's a new job portal, the first one uh, uh, with the label Sécurité Sociale. The Sécurité Sociale is the biggest organization in France. It, uh, it's the uh, one who gives you money back when you're sick. Uh, I think you know fast everything. And so if you have a few questions, I'd be pleased to. I, I have a, a question about your future plans, but first I'd like to compliment you with your work. It's really stunning. It's, it's, yeah, it's fantastic, I think. Um, what will you do for 1.6 when it's stable? Um, of course, it has nested categories and a better ACL. So, what are your plans for that? Um, that's a good question. We have already a, a 1.6 version for the Elf, uh, Alpha 2 running on Flexi Content because it was designed for that at the beginning. Uh, now concerning the ACL, I need... Oops, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to have only one... I'm sorry. <laughs> Rich people in Germany. <laughs> Now for the ACL, I need to go deeper in the 1.6 version to see what I can do with that. Because I love my user interface and I find that more understandable for the users. But what I will 
definitely do is to use the Joomla 1.6 groups. But probably for a, a period I will keep my ACL system uh, but I change it if, if I find something better the flexi access will disappear no problem for that I build that for my own need for, for my customer and I decided to release it but I, I decided to release it as a, as a subscription GPL uh, because uh, the people who need this kind of feature uh, are not uh, is not doing uh, the website of the, of Spike Club, you know. So it's a professional feature. It's, it's not a lot of money, and it finds a little bit uh, the whole product. That's all. But uh, for me, uh, I, I'm not a component seller, uh, and uh, what is what was very important for me is to have a feedback of a large community of users to improve the product for my clients. Nice work, very nice work. Two questions. What version are you at now? And how do you handle multi-language sites? Two fish. Interesting question. <laughs> So, uh, Flexi content uh, is interfaced with Joomfish, uh, but um, slightly different than on other systems. That means when you install Joomfish on your uh, on your on your website, you will be able to create the different languages inside the content interface. You don't need to make translation with Joomfish. You have a new column with a little flag, a country flag. Uh, I don't know if I have, if I have Joomfish. Uh, that's a good question. No, I don't see that in this computer. Uh, you have a country flag and you create uh, your content in different language. Then, when you, uh, when you display a category view, uh, the category view is filtered by the active language. The only things that are used uh, not, uh, uh, in Joomfish is the category translation. For example, if you want to translate a category instead of creating, creating a new, uh, another hierarchy, you can do that. But uh, the, the only problem I had was the, the, language, the language switch uh, on, the, on, an, on an item view. And uh, a user developed a plugin uh, that is allow, that allowed you to, to switch uh, the item view if the two contents share the same alias. Then you will you will know that they are the same content and allow you to switch in the item view. But uh, frankly speaking, uh, when you build uh, when you are navigating the website, for example in four languages, you choose your language at the beginning. You don't. You don't click on the flag. Oh, how do you look? Uh, how do you look? does it look in Russian? Uh, oh, how is it in Italian? You have one language, and for me it was it was much more practical to be able to have not translation, but sometimes different article depending on the language, uh, and uh, have everything at the same place. So in the content management panel, you have a little flag. Uh, and you can copy your, your, your item and translate it. Sorry? Version. Version in the combination to the digital. Each, each, each language item is a, a separate item, so version functions exactly the same.
I don't understand the question. There are probably different people who are working on the different languages. So, uh, if to keep it consistent. How are they aware that they must... How they are they aware that they have to use a formal version? They are not. They are not. There's no, no solution for that. Okay, that's my point. No, I think it's perfect. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea. No, it's, it's, it's a good idea. I, I didn't think about that because I, I manage very few multi-language websites. So, but uh, uh, the only miss, missing feature that is coming uh, is the front end submitting and editing. And we just finished the, sub, uh, the front end submitting with the field, and now we are finishing the editing. So it's the, the, the next uh, step, and, uh, and uh, I think it will be a major breakthrough, uh, because we will have uh, new views with uh, my articles, uh, my article is waiting for my pro, and I'm also building plugins for Joom Social to have it uh, as a mini application uh, and build something like my blog or something like that. I know we've spoken already about the technical aspects of the project, but what about the versions? I'd like to know how many uh, versions you can have in the system before the system is going to take straight. Depend on yourself. <laughs> of course, flexi content. Uh, uh, f f um, I, I think uh, in, in, in terms of uh, of, uh, of ideas, uh, we had the same uh, common idea with uh, with Fortis from from K2. It's to build an advanced content management system, and CCK was one part of that. Uh, but K2 is focused on performance for huge websites, uh, but <coughs> that was not my concern. Because when I have uh, the, the, the biggest website I have myself is about 20,000 articles, uh, and it functions uh, perfectly uh, on a very small server, no problem. And I just discovered that uh, one of the biggest, biggest websites in France uh, is running with Flexi Contents. It's a website about a French movie and has uh, 100, uh, 120,000 articles and it functions perfectly. If you have a look, for example, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's totally uh, awful in terms of design. <laughs> but uh, I cannot say that. I hope the agency has not. <laughs> No, it's not my taste at all. <laughs> but uh, uh, I discovered that through, through Google. <laughs> I, 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 learned, I, I learned from myself. I'm 
then I refinance the coin. <laughs> and uh, uh, for me, uh, mastering a, a new framework is very difficult. So, I will, uh, but, but I, will, uh, I will definitely think about it because uh, if I can reduce the, the, the amount of code, uh, I can increase the performance a lot. Uh, I will try to, but just ask it to me. Don't try, be clear. The problem is that I'm finishing a huge website at the moment, and it's very difficult. So I will try for the 21st of June to be there also. <laughs> As many as you want. Well, you can you, cre you create your own content types. What was the question? What was the question? Uh, I, I, I mean, you mean field types or okay. field types? Uh, no idea. At the moment, there are about uh, 14, I think, something like that. But uh, on the core, there are uh, 10, 20. I don't know. We can have a look. <laughs> This, the, the article toolbar, which is able to count the comments uh, with the social bookmarking and so on. The text resizer is also a field. Uh, and this is a very interesting field. It's a field uh, that allows you to load a module instance or a module position inside an article and to create more complicated uh, multi-category views. Uh, for example, for example, on this website, which is uh, one of the biggest uh, web, um, I mean, uh, something else. So, so this is a flexi content module, which is not yet released, and uh, which is able to adapt itself on the context. For example, the related article, article from the same category, from the same author, and you can combine all this together to build really complex. Uh, uh, configuration. For example, here. So the number of fields you can create is, is basically a, a limit. You can do whatever you want. How do you handle the search engine friendly URLs? Uh, by the native uh, Joomla system. Uh, I think the guy from ASAFE, uh, I'm sure the guy from ASAFE, uh, Dennis, developed uh, an ASAFE plugin, which is free. Uh, and uh, I started uh, uh, to develop a SH44 plugin because I, I need it uh, for, for some website I'm building right now. Uh, so. I think it will it will run okay, and but it, it was something uh, very special for multi mapping because for multi mapping one article can belong to multiple categories and uh, the same. Well, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm looking about a solution to avoid duplicate contents and. Uh, with the same uh, rewritten URL to route it dive differently, 
depending on the category. For example, in flexi content with that, if we have a look here and we create a new menu item, so it's something that is not documented at all, that's why. When you create a new article, uh, oops, sorry. a new flexi content item, single item. Here, title, you select your item. Let's go to the latest created one, for example, my new fact. Uh, or new article. If I apply that, you see in the URL there is not only the ID, there is also the category ID. By default, it takes this, the primary category. But if now uh, on, on the sample it was the, 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 the category 41, but if here I apply a filter 